Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm a second year PhD student and this is my story. I initially moved to Sheffield when I started my undergraduate because I did my undergraduate in psychology at the University of Sheffield. I chose Sheffield University because I really liked the city. I liked that it had lots of green spaces and I liked that it was a big city but it kind of had a bit of a small city feeling to it as well. Like I really liked the tram networks and how there were lots of local and independent shops and pubs all around. I really liked that I studied psychology but I liked psychology from a theoretical perspective and I wanted to get a job that involved kind of working with psychology and theory. Um, so I wanted to kind of transition more into a, a data science, data analyst type position. So I came back here and I did a master's um, and then I con continued on to a PhD. My PhD involves investigating whether we can predict the cause of a transient loss of consciousness. So we're trying to identify whether people have lost consciousness because they've had a seizure or because they've fainted. Uh, and we're looking to see whether we can do that using an automated analysis of language. So part of my PhD involves working at the Royal Hampshire Hospital to recruit patients to take part in the project. And that involves speaking with patients, telling them about the project and signing them up. And they take part in the project using an online web application that I created using the support of the staff in the Department of Computer Science. And we're looking to see whether we can predict the diagnosis using natural language processing methods and acoustic processing methods. So looking at how they say it and how they describe their seizure. So one of the things I liked about the University of Sheffield is that they have a really good students union uh, and it's got a, a good LGBT society so on the first week that I moved here they had a range of events organized that gave me an opportunity to meet other gay people and that was really good for me because I hadn't met many gay people before moving to university and I hadn't had much chance to kind of explore that part of my personality and my identity um, so by meeting other people I think that really helped me grow. Since finishing university, I, I, so I met my now husband at the university and we stayed in Sheffield and kind of built up our life here. Uh, and we've recently adopted a little boy uh, and we really love uh, kind of building our family in Sheffield because it's, it's really, really diverse and it's got a really nice kind of warm community feel to it. Uh, and we really like kind of seeing different families and different people and, and we think it's going to be a really great place for our son to grow up. I'm hoping that after I finish my PhD I can go into a career that involves working with data and there's two kind of career paths that I'm hoping to take. So firstly I would really enjoy continuing working on the sort of research that I'm doing now. Um, I'd like to work closely with the Department of Computer Science and, and speech processing and seeing how we can use speech in, in kind of future forms of technology, especially in healthcare research. I'm also really interested in looking at like the kind of jobs that are available outside of academia and outside of research um, because I know that lots of organisations kind of prioritise working with data at the moment and they have access to a lot of speech data and text data and I'm really hoping that I can find a, a career in an organisation where I can use the skills that I've gained in the Department of Computer Science and throughout my PhD but also working with more kind of specific data that's targeted towards the needs of the organisation and how you can help see the impact of your data and how it can build the organisation and help it grow.